four kids of my own and going through school with them and you know as much as I dream about their future I can also reflect back on a time when I was like that and making a switch from you know the junior squad to the varsity squad from peewee to you know the real deal at high school and then you know the, this jump here to college and beyond it's just been a you know it's been something I look back on it now and I say I've been extremely blessed very fortunate and I've been able to hang around a lot of very interesting people and yes. learn a lot along the way you know and that's that's what life's all about and you know this um you know this this night definitely uh helps kind of put everything in perspective when it comes to my college career and things we were able to do here as a uh, team that I think a lot of people didn't have a whole lot of hopes for, but a bunch of guys have scrapped together and put their best foot forward every week and worked hard and accomplished a great deal in a very short period of time. I'm very proud of that time. I'm proud of the guys I was able to do it with. And, you know, it's um, definitely a dream come true when you look at it. You know, it was... Uh unexpected you know and then so that's what you talk about the turns in life and how they occur uh, the, the, the Purdue hire really wasn't you know, unexpected in the sense that uh, we had had a great year at, at Wyoming and we were starting to get calls from other universities right. and so uh, you know Morgan and Jim Coletto coach Coletto agreed that uh, he wasn't going to coach anymore and uh, you know so Purdue was the first one with their iron in the fire. That's the term out west for when you're branding, you know. Right. The first guy in gets a hot iron, gets the brand first. And uh, so, you know, uh, actually I was involved in the Purdue job before really Minnesota was ready to do anything, Illinois was ready to do anything, you know, these other jobs around the country. There were there were four Big Ten jobs yeah, that, that year. year. Right. And I knew I wasn't going to IU. I just uh, just... You know, once you coach at Purdue, you just can't do you know, it. You can't do that. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I had an incredible visit here, and uh, you know, I grew up in a very small town. And first game I saw, college-wise, I was playing in it. First NFL game I saw, I was playing in it. Really? So, uh, you know, I didn't grow up, you know, thinking about, you know, these big plans and the dreams and all that kind of stuff. I always just wanted to go out and do, you know, my job and. Go 100 mile an hour. I love running into people, so football is a natural thing. And as far as Purdue, you know, really, I, I uh, you know, was able to visit several schools and uh, sit down and, and go through that process of the recruiting and, you know, kind of the, oh, I don't know what else you want to call it, but the courting of college football. And, you know, I was just blown away by, you know, what Purdue represented and the history and the, the people and. You know, really, really, even the guys that were here when I took my recruiting visit. I mean, all of that stuff factored into it, and you know, of course, it ended up working out pretty good because five years later we played in the Rose Bowl, went to the Alamo Bowl a few times, and visited Tampa. So, not all bad, right?